In this video, I'm going to show you how we're going to go from this scribble to this picture. So what I'm going to do is get a, a brush, and I'm using my sketch brush from uh, this anime, but you can also use for my sketching the 6B pencil. Uh, I just happen to like using this one, which really doesn't make a much difference. And we will start to make some scribbles on the page. Just having some fun, loops and, and angles. Okay, the bunch over here. Okay, there we are. So here is our beginning sketch, our scribble. Next up is to make a new layer, change to a bigger brush, more intense. So you see this brush, we can uh, basically highlight what we're gonna be drawing. And the next goal is to look for something in here. Everyone can find what their, their own thing. Something that stands out for me, and we'll, we'll start, we'll see what happens here, is I'm seeing over here this shape. We'll leave a little, little room there. Let's go and come on down and slightly move between the two. Because I want to get... follow the shape. Uh, I try to stay true to the scribble lines, but you know, it's, it's an art and you can do whatever you want. So I'm going to move from that right now and draw some other lines. There we are. How do I connect these, huh? Let's see. Got it. As I'm drawing, I'm looking at the lines I have and trying to see what that tells me, if I get any inspiration to make something different to go from here. My thought at the bottom here is waves. I'm not sure what a penguin's doing exactly amongst these very, um, amongst these very strong waves, but I'm sure he has a good reason.
Okay, so I think this is going to be our, I'm, I'm happy with this as a beginning of our line work. And now the next step is to color it in. So to do that, make a new layer and put it beneath everything. Let's go choose a color. I don't want to use pure blacks and whites. Definitely not pure blacks. So make a very dark, very dark brown there. And then for the brush, we're going to go to this marker brush that I got from um, the Lisa Bardot library. Start filling it in. This is a fun part. You can see your picture start to take shape. What I like about this brush is the texture that it provides. So it doesn't, it's not a full flat, though I have done a lot of flat art as well, but um, right now I'm enjoying the, the texture uh, of this marker brush. And now it's time to add in our background. Sometimes I do it on the same layer, but here I'm going to do all of our C's on its own layer. And that we have to worry, worry about any overlaps. I'm normally a very um, exacting person so this is a, a good exercise for me to not worry clean things up later the whole idea is be loose and free and just scribble okay we have that i'm gonna add another we'll color one more layer behind everything i like to go to my nico roll Go see what's not being covered up properly. Actually, what I can do, I can go here, say select, automatic, click these different areas. And I'll go here and say clear. At this point, I can leave it like this, or I might actually try to add in another layer of visual interest. Going here, going back to my marker brush, let's go with the, the water. penguin in the sea.